Baseball was life, and I was pretty good at it. That's a quote from the movie Sandlot, and for me, that's what that's what life was like growing up. It was baseball was life. Baseball was what I thought about, what I played, what I spent most of my time doing. Baseball was something really great because it was separate from my normal friend group and separate from my, my normal family, but really created a, a bond that that I cherished as a, as a child. But it wasn't until middle school when I began to really rethink what I defined as life. After my mom was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in middle school, she fought the good fight for a year and a half, but she couldn't win the, the final game, the final battle. And this shook my family to the roots. I wasn't sure what life was. The summer before my freshman year of high school, I remember going to uh, Steubenville, San Diego, a three-day retreat with four to 5,000 other Catholic youth. I remember a moment, though, during adoration, when the monstrance was being processed around the whole arena. The musician took a brief pause. I remember him telling us that if we were holding on to anything, going through any struggles, dealing with anything, that we just had to lay it down at the feet of our Lord. I, I thought arrogantly to myself, there's no way that he could take all of my pain. And then I closed my eyes and started to pray directly to our Lord. And then I sat there and I waited for, for him to respond. After I waited for what felt like an eternity, I remember I finally opened my eyes and at the end of my nose, pressed against my face, was the, the monstrance. I, I couldn't do anything else but cry. As the weight of all of my pain was taken off my shoulders and simply left at the feet of our Lord. I remember though one night, I had such a, a deep and life-changing dream. I had two glimpses into possible futures for myself. The first was as a married man, living the life that I, I had planned for myself. And the other was as a priest. Both glimpses though, I experienced happiness. But when I experienced my life as a priest, it was overflowing with, with joy and peace. And that was lacking from the first glimpse. I then decided if this is what I was called to, how can I do anything less? I then started down this path towards priesthood and leaving my life open to what God has called me to. That propelled me to join this much larger team, this much larger family that I had never really thought about. This larger family that was the whole church, the whole Catholic Church. This team is my family, my life, and my all.